so looks like there's another button here Or could it be a coin? Hang on a minute. That is... That is not a button. And... <laughs> it's a coin, it's a Roman coin. Goodness, that's an amazing, that's an amazing coin. Right, I had to go and grab my uh, water spray to clean my coin. So I, I, I left it in my car. Let's see. The coin is quite um, in good condition, but I just want to see. If I recognize the portrait. It's a lovely Roman. My second signal of the day, believe it or not. The first signal was was a 20p coin, just a little bit further down that way. And now I have this fantastic condition. Roman. So that was a very good start of the day and I've been here before to this particular field. I've had very good finds from here before. So just to prove that there are always things hidden quite deep. You just have to look for them. Looks like I'm having a, a good day, but I'm not going to deny I wasn't going to dig this hole because the signal wasn't really, really good. But I'm so pleased I've dug it, dug it up because you know it looks like another Roman, Roman. I'm going to stop filming, filming now and then I'll come back in a minute. Yes, it does look like a Roman coin to me. And again, it looks like a real good condition. So let's check now. could be by the same emperor, it's the one I've just found, I would say it is. I would say it's by the same emperor, 
So it's another very good condition coin. Now looking at both coins together, I'm not sure it's the same emperor. So different emperors, so different periods of history, pretty much I would say three, four meters distance from one from the other. So that's very interesting. Right, I've got good news. That is the third one, I think. So it's a third Roman in an area of pretty much one or two meters from the second one. And I would say 100% another Roman. Again, it looks, it could be from another emperor, so not the same one from, not, not the same one as the second one or the first one. So, happy days. Let me just give it a, a wash and then uh, see what else I can see there. But it's, it's very clear, as you can see there. So the coin's up there, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spray so that can make it easier to identify the coin. Just bear with me. Looks like a radi radiator. Oh my god, that's a third one. I can't complain today. It's sunny, lovely weather. It's Easter Monday and here I am with three Roman coins. Happy days. I suppose that's what was giving me good luck, or is giving me good luck. So three Roman coins. Right. I'm pleased to say that I've got a Roman number four and it seems like it's going to be another one in a very good condition. I must say this signal was really really bad signal but I persevered and here I am with another beautiful Roman coin. So it's about 2000 years old. And here it is. Back to life. Together with my other three that I've just found. So let's give it a bit of a spray so I can I can see the portrait a bit better. And there you are. It's not 
about as perfect a condition as the previous three coins but it is still a Roman coin and it's Roman coin number four all found here in this area so it's a hoard I would have thought It's lovely. Now I was looking at the reverse and it seems to me this is the wolf with the twins. like it's another Roman coin it's the same area where I found the four Romans um, a couple of days ago right can you see it so it does look like a Roman so let's hope it's not a pattern sometimes there. No, it is a Roman makes up um, five so five Romans five Roman coins from this particular circle here where I am now so let's do a bit of a water spray And, and here it is, it's another Roman coin, so let's see if, we, uh, if, it, if we're going to be able to see anything there, too many flies here, <laughs> yeah it's facing uh, left this time I think, if I'm not wrong. I'm going to give it another spray and then I'll come back in a minute. Oh, it is such a nice feeling when you find a good find, really. I haven't been I haven't been here for very long, so it's my second find of the day. Right, so um, I can see there, um, it looks like a Constantine facing left. And on the reverse, it appears to be She-Wolf and the Twins. A couple of days ago I found, as you might remember, um, a coin and then on the reverse I thought it might be She-Wolf and the Twins, but it ended up that it's not actually the She-Wolf, it's, um, it's apparently it's a galley, so it's not a Constantine. So it's an earlier one, the one I found two days ago. But this one here, it does look like it's the she-wolf with the two little boys. Remus and uh, I can't remember the name of the other one. So it's the symbol of Rome. 
So, and that is the Paul Schreit. So, uh, Bromo number five, 